modifications already we studied the aerial modification okay the next one under the aerial modifications the creepers trailer climbers pillow clad clad or thorns okay these are all we studied so today we are going to learn that is stem modifications that is a sub aerial modification okay runner stole and sucker offset so this is we are going to study today and next one is the underground modifications under the heading bulk comb rhizome and tuber we are going to learn okay so we will study one by one the first sub aerial stem modifications aerial that is a completely aerial means the plants are so that is placing above the ground level okay what about here that is a sub aerial modifications the part of the plant that is so that is buried in the soil okay sub aerial stem found in the plants with a weak stem actually it is not a strong stem that is a very very weak which branches lie horizontally okay horizontally means so that is a flatten okay somewhat that portions are flatten then so after that reproductive part it will be grow straight it is a sub aerial modification so under the sub aerial modifications we are going to see the first one that is a runner okay so based on the term we could understand that a stems are so running in the surface of the soil so this is a slender prostrate and branch and creeping on the ground and rooting at the nodes actually the roots are arised from the nodal region okay roots are arised from the nodal slender means that is very soft okay so that is a prostrate so prostrate that is your so flat in the surface of the soil that is a prostrate that is called prostrate so prostrate the slanting okay va so in the flat in the surface of the soil so branch is creeping creeping means it's just above that and the surface appadi padam irukka than creeping abingra so it's a ground and a rooting at the nodes nodes vandu enga irundha aarambikina nodal regions la irundhu roots are started so example oxalis that the wood squirrel okay another one is here that's a grass variety it's a cynodon dactylon is another example for that okay so next one is a stolon that is also under the category so that is a slender slender means that's a very soft in nature and lateral branch is originating from the so base of the stem actually the base of the stem okay so the basal region the lateral branches are started okay first it grows obliquely obliquely na enartham slanting in positions obliquely na enartham slanting okay so that is in the above the first oblique oblique more in the mari varu so this is a plant this is your oblique in conditions first vandu eppadi irukum slanting a irukum in the region okay so then it will be come out okay so this is a ground region so above the ground produce a loop and bends loop abingiradhu vandu valaivu okay so that is a loop and bends so downwards toward the ground okay loop and bends varumbodhu vandu enna airu appo the looping varumbodhu again it will it will enter into the ground it will touch the ground okay so that uh, characters in the stolon so that is a slend lateral branch originating from the so base of the stem and it grows obliquely means that is a slanting in positions and above the ground and produces a loop and bends that is a downwards to the ground okay so that is a example is a mentha pipriata okay another one is a fragaria is a example for that that is a fragaria okay there is a wild strawberry so next is here so actually in that stolen condition when they have to touches the ground that immediately it will be give the next vegetative propagations okay and becomes the independent so that is a parental plant actually the daughter plant is detached from the parental plant and which gives rise to the independent life okay so example fragaria indica another one is a mentha pipirata so next is a sucker sucker is a common plant okay this a characteristic is a very common so that is a best example for chrysanthemum okay so here that uh, uh, that roots are developed developed from the underground stem actually which is developed from the underground this region this is your actually root region so this is your root region okay so here also the roots are 
So that's originated from the underground part, but again it will be grow in upright. Okay, when they have to start at the vegetative uh, parts, it will be come to the ground level. Okay, that is a vegetative parts means that is a leaves. Okay, so there's a new plant. We can cut it into the in this region. So it will be act as your new plant. Actually, this is your daughter plant. Okay, so where the roots are arised, actually the roots are arised from that. That is a lower region. So not only in that node, so everywhere the roots are arised. Okay. So that is a sucker developed from the underground stem, grows obliquely, means landing positions, it's in the upwards and gives rise to the separate plant. It's a new plant. Okay. So actually the daughter plant plants are separated. So next one is a offset. Okay. So offset, the best example is a pistia. So offset is similar to the runner, but that is living in the water. Okay, that is not in the land, living in the water, but found in the aquatic plants, especially in the rosette leaves. The rosette leaves are arise. Rosette means there's a bunch of leaves are arise on that region. Okay, so in the base of the rosette leaves, we can see the that is a roots. Okay, so the tip of the root has your root packet. Okay, so what is necessary for the root packet which is used to floating in the surface of water? In the root packet contains the arenchyma. Actually, parenchyma is it's filled with air that is considered as a arenchyma. So, which help of the root packet they have to so the floating in the surface of water. So, the stem is a very soft, sometimes it's a hollow in condition. So, the leaves are very thick in nature. A short, thick lateral branches are arise from the lower axil and that is horizontally leafless. Okay, horizontally leaf okay. The short distance, then it produces a bunch of offset leaves and the root at nodes. Okay, as the root leaf order So that is nodal region. Okay. So pistia and another one is here, icornia. So, Iconia is otherwise called water hyacinth, Pistria is otherwise called water lettuce. So, underground stem modifications. Okay. So, totally the stem is buried in the soil. Now, the half of the part is a total part of the plant body is buried in the soil. The stem part is buried in the soil. So, that is a perennial. Perennial means they have to live in number of years and someone is the biennials. Okay. So, they have to live in the number of years and under the ground. So that is in that uh, inactive in conditions during the unfavorable conditions. So during the favorable conditions, it will be germinate and produce the vegetative part. Okay. So during the favorable conditions. So remaining time that is inactive in condition that is known as a perinations. So perennial means that is a number of years they have to live. Perination means so that is uh, they will give the vegetative part during the favorable condition. So perennial number of years they are living, biennial is here, only two years. So within two years they have to complete a life cycle and have your underground stems. Okay. So that is otherwise called root stokes. You know, root stokes. So perination's character that is called a root stoke. So root stroke function is storage and protective organ. Storage is the stem they have to store the food materials. Okay, food materials store pani lama, they have to protect you by themselves because that is not so naked on that uh, in the above the ground level. Okay, because which is present in under the ground. Ulla animals animals protect Okay. So that is alive below the ground during the unfavorable conditions. Ademari during the favorable conditions, unfavorable ulla during the favorable conditions it will be germinate. Nalla malakala vandha odana enna pannirum? It will be germinate to gives the vegetative part. So the underground stems, the not roots because they possess a nodes. Actually, this is a, each one is considered as a node here. Okay. So Yengala and our eye part marring over the region one the node bin solo. Okay. So this is actually that is a region of this is a stem portion. So actually this is a root. The kuti kuti varla, this is only a root. This is a shoot portion. Okay. Actually the stem is modified to that is a store the food materials. Okay, roots are very, very less. Sometimes the roots we cannot identify them. Okay, so that is uh, internodes. What is the internodes? Wherever we can see that the eye spot. So this is a internode region. This is called a node. Okay, between the two nodes, that is a internode region. That is we can see very clearly in the ginger. Okay, 
so that is a uh, scale leaves and buds are present scale leaves means that is totally covered by a brown color scaly leaves okay so foliage leaves means that is a green in color scaly leaves that is your brown in color the absence of the chlorophyll isn't it so that's a root stalk is always like root cap okay they don't have a root cap with root cap irukana avasiyame illa the tap root system arunduchina they need a root cap okay because they want to protect the root tip root tip protect panano so inga vanda ad protect panna kodu avasiyam illa because there is a very small roots only present okay appo idu enna solrana this is a root stalk appdin solra root stalk means they have to so root la root root maadhiri idu vanda enna panudhu appadina so adha vanda protect panudhu adha root irukana avasiyam illa so instead of that the stem is there that is modified okay so the root stalk abin solrom so like root cap and root hairs also on the present root hairs na minute root hairs are present they possess a terminal bud which is characteristics of the stem so this is called a terminal bud okay sometime axillary bud is also so that is arise in the ginger ginger la paathana axillary bud irukum okay so bulb abigrado that is your so so many layers actually in the onion we can see the so many layers concentric leaves are that is uh, present there okay so so many layers are surrounded by one another abin solradha bulb it is a condensed conical convex okay condensed abin enna arthona abi surungi poirudhu illaya adude stem vand height a illama fulla condensed ah vand maari irukku so conical ah irukum sometimes this is a convex in shape that is surrounded by a fleshy scale leaves okay the outermost is a fleshy scale leaves okay but inner layer inside we can see the fleshy leaves that is a fleshy scale leaf okay outer is a dry scaly leaf is present this is called a tunicated okay tunicated bulb that is a coated bulb actually that is covered by the coated so what are the regions what are the parts in that uh, uh banya uh, so the onion uh, plant that is a base of the stem this is a bulb another one is a tunic this region is considered as a tunic region this is a tunic region okay so this is a disc this is advantageous roots okay so this axillary bud the inside is present in the axillary bud this apex region the region la irundha namakku vande plant vande originated e agudhu okay va so there is a onion is a example for bulb the tunicated bulb tunicated bulb means so many layers that is surrounded uh, surrounded by the so many concentric layers so tunicated coated bulb in which the stem is contents already we studied that the bulb with the papery and the tunic are removed actually inga vand tunic remove panirukom so inga tunic irukudhu inga tunic vand enna panirukom remove panitom that is scaly leaves vand remove panitom so they can be classified into two types one is a simple tunicated bulb another one is a compound tunicated bulb the simple tunicated bulb ma it has a single okay or single stem mattum irukum and the single stem chutti ore or layer vandu irukum so that layer vandu there is a removed okay adha vandu easy ah nama remove panniralam but what about here idhula garlic la pathinga appadina each and every idum vandu enna irukku so compound this is a compound tunicated oru oru segment la nama vandu enna pannalam scaly leaves irukku we have to remove it okay each and every one consists of a scaly leaves so there's a compound tunic tunicated bulb example allium sativum okay idhuk example vandha enade allium sativum that is example for allium sepa so simple tunicated na fully ore or cover a irukku so compound tunicated means each and every segment is covered by a scaly leaves next best exam next one is a comb okay so comb or example paathana is a succulent actually this is the stem is modified to store the food material so then only it is very succulent succulent ah ulla vandha nalla store panni vechirukku food material la store panni nalla succulent ah irukku it's a stem with erect growing tip adanude tip vandha epdi irukuna it's a erect growing okay va so actual uh, actually ange irund terminal bud la irund adu grow aagudhu so surrounded by a scaly leaves this is also surrounded by a scaly leaves okay so scaly leaves abingade brown in color that is a surrounded by a scaly leaves so exhibit a nodes and internodes idhiliya as it is adhe mari node irukum internode vandu present a irukku so root hairs only present they don't have a root okay well developed root kedaiyadhu root hairs only present there's amorphophyllous colocasia colchicum is example for that so next one is called rhizome okay so rhizome the ginger is a best example for the rhizome this is an underground stem 
growing horizontally with the several lateral growing tips. Okay, so underground now, can't be anger. Okay, the boomy cool that are okay. So horizontally, when they develop, pago. Idla axillary budder okay, terminal budder okay. Okay, ma. So rhizome possess a conspicuous node okay, inter node okay. So actually, node inter node okay, my region. So this region, okay. So then, Marie, this is axillary butter. So this is all over one node. This is each and every one is the node, okay. So this is considered as a node and inter node that's covered by a scaly leaves. So underground layer ka kudiya all stem ko vande scaly leaves vande present aru. So covered with the scaly leaves. Example, gingerbread, apicinale, and curcuma longa, okay. So how it is formed? This underground stem growing the horizontally to form. So next one is a rhizome, okay. So rhizome level, uh, first example, and the solid called now gingerbread apicinale. So next one is a tuber. So tuber is your so modification of the actually stem, okay. That is a potato tuber. So potato tuber is a modification of the stem. They have to store the food material. It's bulged and succulent. So it consists of that is a small eye part. The each and every eye part is your axillary bud is there, okay. So that is a embedded axillary bud is called eyes. So solanum tuberosum and helianthus tuberous. Helianthus tuberous. So next, how the stems are stem that is arranged. Okay, how the branches are arranged on the so main trunk. The branching pattern is determined by the relative activity of the apical meristem. So apical meristem is responsible for so length of the plant body. Okay, when the length of the plant body is determined by the apical meristem, we have the branching on the pre-grow. Okay, there is a monopodial and sympodial branching. Actually, which is divided into monopodial and sympodial branching. So the mode of arrangement of the branching on a stem is known as a branching. In the mari vandu, so the arranged ayirko branches on the stem la, so adha vandu branching abhi nsa olroam. So the branchings are two types. So on a stem branching, another one vandu enna abhi na, that is a stem branching le, first one vandu, that is a, so monopodial branching, another one is a, so sympodial branching, okay. So the lateral branching, dichotomous branching, abhi na ma sa olroam. Lateral branching abhi ngirad vandu enna na, so lateral side le erundu, at the lateral branches le erundu start off, okay va. So dichotomous branching abhi ngirad vandu, so actually vandu, the sympodial ipa paathing na, inga first branch irukko, adhi lehandu secondary branch. So next vandu, adhi lehandu secondary branches, okay. So from each and every branches are arised from the previous branch, abhi na sa olroam. So adhi vandu sympodial in conditions. So monopodial in conditions abhi ngirad, so they have a main branch, from the main branches, we can see see the so many lateral branches. If you look at the main trunk, you can see the lateral branches. But if you look at the lateral branches, but if you look at the lateral branches, if you look at the main stem, they have to make it as a branch. First, it is fully complete. That is a height. The apical meristems are fully complete. So they have to start at the so many branches. Okay, so they have to start at the so many branches. So they have to start at the so many branches. So they have to start at the so many branches. So they have to start at the so many branches. Main plant axis, the branches are being sold from. Okay, ma'am. So active vegetative shoot apex, abdhing rathom, the arrow portu kathal illa, inga ondha shoot apex ondha form agru. Okay, ma'am. So based on that, so indeterminate terminal bud, actually on the indeterminate, another one is say determinate. Indeterminate na abdhi growth poyite rukho. Okay, determinate abdhi na, so growth ondha inga mudu juru. Apex region oda growth ondha inga finish ayur. Okay, ma'am. The terminal bud grows, so uninterrupted and produces a several lateral branches. Okay, a terminal bud to one the poite rukum, but naraya several branches one the array sag the other one. So that is a monopodial branching. Okay, wow. So example for in the polyaltia. So this. So determinate being rather the terminal bud ceases to grow after a period of the growth and the further growth is taken care by the successive several. So later larga kuriya branches vandha ano dia growth a vandhe so adha vandhe abhiye edhir poigite eruko okay ma? So that is a successive or several lateral meristems or buds. This is a sympodial branching. So example for the sympodial branching. Okay, this is here. It's a picture of the sympodial branching. Okay, sympodia itla paathinga nariya lateral branches vandhi irukko unamakku. So that is a successive several lateral meristems or buds or arise from the sympodial branching. That is a cycus is an example for that. So 
So what we studied today, that is the underground modification. And another one is here. So underground modifications and superior modifications we studied. Okay. So underground modifications, so how many types we studied? So once again, it should recount. Okay, see that. So stem modifications, la, subaerial modifications, runner, stolen, sucker, offset. Okay. So another one is underground modifications, bulb, comb, rhizome, and tuber we studied. So here the most of the region, the rhizome and tuber are comb. Okay. So here that the stem is a horizontal in position, that's a bulged and succulent in conditions. Okay. So it has a small root has only present. Okay. It has a axillary bud and the terminal bud is also there. So here that a bulb that is your leaves are covered with the so, so many fleshy leaves. Okay. So outermost layer is a concentric uh, that is a dry leaves are present and inside we can see the there's a fleshy leaves are there. So here that uh, in the bulb which is divided into two, one is a tunicated, one is a single, another one is a compound. So tunicated up in Pakambodha, that is a onion is covered by a that is a dry scales. Okay. So in that uh, uh, garlic that is each and every compound is covered by a that is a scaly leaves so next we are going to learn about the leaf the structure of the leaf So next we are going to see the leaf, okay. So leaf is very, very essential organ in the plant, okay. So because the leaves only carry out the process, photosynthesis. So to, uh, next we are going to see the, the structure of the leaf. So how that is carry out the functions, we are going to see that. So leaf structure, actually the leaves are attached to the stem, okay, or the branches with the help of their small stalk that is called, that is a petiole. So how the leaf is attached to the stem with the help of the stalk, okay, this is considered as a stalk. The stalk is called, that is a petiole. The stalk is called petiole, okay. So next that a lamina, this is a broad region is called by lamina. Okay, this is a leaf tip. This is called leaf tip. This is your midrib. This is your midrib. Okay. From the midrib, we can see the veins. Okay. Lateral veins are there. That is your lateral veins. This is a margin. The margin of the leaves should be vary. It's not similar to each and every one. It should be vary in structure. Okay. So what is the leaves? Leaves are green, a thin color. Okay. That's a green, flattened and thin. Okay. Because the presence of the chlorophyll, which is carry out the function, photosynthesis okay so what are the main parts of the leaf that is your petiole another one is a lamina and leaf tip is there okay so here the midrib the midrib is your prominent midrib from the midrib the lateral veins so from the lateral veins that is your secondary and the tertiary veinlets are formed okay so based on the venations which is classified into two one is a reticulate venations another one is here so parallel venations so reticulate venations the characteristics of dicot plant and parallel venation is the characteristics of monocot plant okay so here that is a net like formation we can see the so net like formation is there okay so all the veins are interconnected to form a net like structures So this is a reticulate venation. So what about in the parallel venations? 
So in the parallel venations, the best example is that is a leaf, that is a banana leaf or grass. So this is your structure of banana leaf, okay. So here the veins are the parallel to each other, okay. So that is not a net like structure, this is your parallel to each other. All the veins are, that is originated from the midrib, that is a parallel to each other, that is a characteristics of the monocotyledonous. So this is the characteristics of dicotyledonous, okay. The net mari irukku, idhila vandhu parallel a irukku, okay. So that is a based on the venations which is differentiated into two. So what is the leaves are green, thin, flattened and that is a lateral outgrowth. Lateral outgrowth in yes, all wrong, Abdina, and the branches layer in the other lateral outgrowth, lateral outgrowth. So leaves are the primary photosynthetic organs we know very well. Okay, that is the main site of transpiration also, not only photosynthesis, transpiration because the presence of the stomata. So leaf love in the inner of the path, this is stomata is present. So what is the structure of stomata? So this is your structure of stomata. Okay. So the stomata is present on the leaves. Not only single stomata, many stomatas are present. So this region is called, this is your stoma. This region is called stoma. And this is your, that is your god cells. This region is called god cells. This is your god cells. Okay. Through the stomata, the transpiration is occur. So all the leaves of the plant together are referred to as a phyllome. Phyllome now or plant are put all leaves in change that is considered as a phyllome. So characteristics of a leaf, leaf for the characters in another is a exogenous in origin. Okay, because that is arised from the so that is a lateral regions. Okay, wow. so that is the outermost on the layer of the stem of the epidermis. Epidermis learn the other one is start. So that is a lateral appendages of the stem. So it is born at the node and inner node. Okay, where the leaf is arised on the stem, that region is considered as a nodal region. So we can see the so many nodes. We are between the nodes that is considered as a inter node. Okay. So exogenous, that is a shoot system is exogenous. Similarly, this is also exogenous because which is arised from the so outermost layer and the epidermal layer the varra thanala nam enna solrom exogenous and origin okay so idu vandu continue va nariya vandu growth agradhu kedaiyadhu limited growth our leaf na leaf oda structure evlo irukumo so avlo da adu vandu growth agum it does not possess a apical bud leaf la irundha apical bud varadhu but margin bud is there that is in the bryophyllum okay bryophyllathla side la nam paatham appadina margin bud irukum okay va so that is a small bud is arised on that margin in the bryophyllum so it has a three main parts. Already I said that is your leaf base. Abdinger the petiole or adipagrina leaf base. Abdin solrom. Adikapra petiole then lamina. Okay. So where the leaf is attached to iriklya. So on the node region iriklya node region mela da thena solrom. That is a leaf base. Next a petiole and lamina is there. So lamina of the leaf is very very important because the vascular tissues are there. What are the vascular tissues? That is a xylem and phloem is present. Okay. So anga prepare agra food material. So that the flow yet learn in a pond that food materials are transferred to you know, the other parts of the plant body through the flow em. Okay. At the same time, they have to get the water through the xylem from the root. Up a vascular strands in the veins lana vascular strands on the Okay. So veins is consists of a vascular strands. 
the functions of the leaf are which are not primary functions so what is the primary functions primary function is your photosynthesis and another one is your transpiration so photosynthesis we know very well okay that synthesis of the food material with the help of some uh, inorganic raw materials okay so what is the result of the photosynthesis that is carbohydrate are synthesized okay transpirations mean the evaporations of the water from the plant okay the evaporation is very very the transpiration is very very essential otherwise the plant they will not get the enough water okay so transpiration is occur through the stomata so stomata enga irukum leaf la irukum illaya so leaf ku la irukkuriya stomata la vandu open pannu the stoma vandu open pannada so water vandu evaporate agum water evaporate agudhu abbingiradhu water veenagiradhu kedaiyadhu so when the water is reach the leaves okay appa water vandu soil la irundhu vela reach aganum appadina so that the transpiration pull is very very important okay so the transpiration pull is sometime is necessary evil appdin solluvom so transpiration e nadakkala na so base la irukkuriya water vandu enna agadhu so mele irukkuriya branches ku la vandu water kedaikave kedaikadhu okay va so idu eppadina namba or straw potu ipo vandu namba vandu juice kudikkum bodhu namba sucking force kudutha mattum da adu mele varum so adhe maari da with the help of the so that is a light and so many chemicals all so see involved there that is a potassium ions playing an important role to opening and closing stomata potassium ions so and the stomata open pandradukku close aagradukku responsible pandudhu okay va so and the mari transpiration full varumboda kil irukka kudiya water ella mele varumboda they can be so they, they have to spray the water to various parts of the plant body okay through the xylem wherever the xylem is connected so in and the part la xylem connected a irukku anga la water vandu varu okay they have to get the water by this way only the transpiration okay so next gaseous exchange so what is a gaseous exchange they have to exchange the gases during the photosynthesis and respiration okay va so photosynthesis nadakkumbodhu oxygen vandu enna pannu adu vandu velila anupu carbon dioxide eduthukodum adanalada nam nariya plants la valakrom illaya we are planting the trees because we want to get the fresh air அப்போ வந்து என்ன ஆகுது போட்டோசிந்தசிஸ் அப்போ தே ஹவ் டேக் அப் ஆக்சிஜன் சாரி டேக் அப் கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைட் அண்ட் கிவ்ஸ் அவுட் ஆக்சிஜன் பட் அட் த சேம் டைம் டூரிங் த ரெஸ்பிரேஷன் விச் கிவ்ஸ் அவுட் தட் இஸ் எம் கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைட் அண்ட் டேக் அப் ஆக்சிஜன் இல்லையா ஸோ அப்போ இந்த மாதிரி அது வந்து எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் பண்ணுது கேஸஸ் அப்போ ஹவு கேன் தே தே வில் டூ அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டொமேட்டா அந்த ஸ்டொமேட்டா அப்படிங்கிற ஒரே ஒரு போர் வழியா ஸோ வாட்டரையும் வந்து டிரான்ஸ்பயர் பண்ணுது கேஸஸையும் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் பண்ணுது அப்போ அந்த ஸ்டொமேட்டா எங்கே இருக்கு தட் இஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஆன் த லீவ்ஸ் ஓகேவா ஸோ தட் இஸ் அ கேஸியஸ் எக்ஸ்சேஞ்ச் நெக்ஸ்ட் ப்ரொடெக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த பட்ஸ் so we can see the axillary buds are present that is a node and between the internode regions okay so that is uh, protect by the leaves only that is easily protect by the leaves next conduction of water and dissolve the solutes actually here the waters are water so conductions actually they have to receive the water ipo vandu idu da vandu kitchen appdi solluvom the leaf is considered as a kitchen of the plant appdi ngrom appo and the kitchen la vandu food prepare aganum appadina water varano இல்லையா மினரல்ஸும் வரணும் ஸோ அப்படி ரிசீவ் பண்ணக்கூடிய அந்த ஏரியா வந்து எங்கே இருக்குது அப்படின்னா லீஃபில் தான் இருக்குது ஸோ அங்கே தான் ஃபுட்டு ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணி தே ஹவ் டு சென்ட் த்ரூ த ஃப்ளோயம் ஸோ ஃபுட் ப்ரிப்பரேஷனுக்கு என்னெல்லாம் தேவைப்படும் அப்படின்னா கார்பன் டை ஆக்சைட் சன்லைட் ஸோ குளோரோஃபில் ஓகே ஸோ இதெல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணி தான் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுது தே கேன் ப்ரிப்பேர் த ஃபுட் மெட்டீரியல் ஓகே ஸோ அந்த ஃபுட் மெட்டீரியல் வந்து அந்த லீஃபில் தான் அந்த வேஸ்குலார் டிஷ்யூஸே இருக்குது so in the presence of the vascular tissues they have to send the food material at the same time whatever the material is necessary they can get it through the xylem okay so what is the secondary functions abin paathana so primary functions idala secondary functions solumbodu storage and protections okay storage abina in some of the leaves are bulged that succulent they can store the food materials okay they have to modify example for cabbage here that is modified to store the food materials so and the mari thanudaiya idha vande enna padu bulged panikirudhu adha vande food material store panichu automatically adanudaiya idhu vande thin a irukkuriya leaf vande eppadi ayirum thicka succulent a maarir okay so protections abbingadhu open shea argimo so here the leaves are present already nam explain panirukom so leaves irukum and the leaves vande modified a irukum okay va because they want to escape from the transpirations and that is the nature of xerophytic plants so they want to escape so the same thorns are modified that is the leaves are modified into thorn like structure leaves vandu thana modified aayirud okay va so in some of the plant the leaves are giving support to that there is a gloriosa nepenthes in the nepenthes they have lot of modification is there so in that petiole is modified into there's a tendril like structure
so this is a picture lamina is modified into a picture this is your tendril okay so this is your lid actually this is your lid portion so this is your picture and this is your tendril so these regions actually the parts of the leaves are modified to such a structures enna enna parts la modified a irukna inga petiole is modified inga vanda enna modified a irukke petiole the petioles are modified into tendril okay so here that is a lamina is modified lamina is modified inga vanda leaf apex is modified leaf apex are modified okay or leaf da and the leaf la vanda anudey petiole vanda tendril la modified aagirudhu anudey lamina vanda picture and that is a lid apex vanda lid da modified aagudhu okay va so appo we can see the lot of modifications in the leaf okay idu yen ipdi modified aayirukku appdin paathina because they need that they have a deficiency of the enade you know, nitrogen nitrogen deficiency they need vanda enade you know, deficiency irukadanaala they want to enade you know, அது அந்த அந்த டெஃபிஷியன்சியை வந்து தன்னை வந்து சரி பண்ணிக்கிறது ஓகேவா அந்த டெஃபிஷியன்சிலேருந்து தன்னை ஸோ எப்படி அந்த ப்ரோட்டீனை வந்து அது எடுத்துக்குது அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஸோ வித் த ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் தட் ஆக்சுவலி திஸ் இஸ் யோர் திஸ் போர்ஷன் இஸ் யோர் வெரி அட்ராக்டிவ் போர்ஷன் ஸோ வித் ஹெல்ப் ஆஃப் தட் ரிம் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் பை ரிம் தே ஹவ் டு அட்ராக்ட் த இன்செக்ட்ஸ் டு கம் அண்ட் சிட் ஹியர் ஓகேவா அந்த இன்செக்ட்ஸ் எல்லாம் என்ன பண்ணுனா இதுக்குள்ளே மேலே வந்து உட்காந்துக்கும் ஓகேவா ஸோ இம்மிடியேட்லி தே ஹவ் டு க்ளோஸ் த லிட் okay so after what will happen so that is enter into the that is a pitcher okay in the pitcher consists of some liquid so that with the help of the liquid they have to kill the insects insects are konnu so adil irukka kudiya protein idu vandha enna pannu appadina absorb panikku okay va appo thangitta irukka kudiya nitrogen deficiency and the protein deficiency ya vandu sari pandradukaga indha mari or amaippu la vandu modified a irukku appo modifications abbingiradhu thanna protect panikkuradhukku so thannude needs vandu fulfill panikkuradhukaga da the plants indha mari modify a irukku okay va okay shall so remaining we will see in the tomorrow's class ஆர்த்தி 